Hello, welcome to Cooking with Johnny. On today's episode, we're going to be making gnocchi. Uh, we're going to go a little bit away from a traditional potato gnocchi to a healthy version made with cauliflower and whole wheat flour. Now, for most people like me that are diabetics that can't have the regular gnocchi because of all the white starches that are in there, I developed, I actually developed this a few years ago for myself because I love gnocchi and I love to eat it, but I don't have it often, but when I do want it, I can't have the other one. So now I have the cauliflower version. It's really simple, it's easy, the same, basically less ingredients than, than the other gnocchi that you make, a lot healthier for you, you're gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna stop preparing the ingredients, we're gonna come back and show you how to make it. So come back and join me as I get my water and my sauce going. Okay, to get started, what, what I do is I go and I get, a, a of course, a head of cauliflower. And instead of boiling it like most people would do, again, this is one of those vegetables that when you boil it, it takes on extra water and it already has a lot of moisture inside of it. So what do I do? I steam it. And when I steam it, it's insane. it takes a lot quicker to cook than it does when you boil it. Okay, do you see when it's done? You're going to take it apart. You're going to take, the, on the bottom, you see there's this humongous stem that's there. You're going to cut this off just with a knife, you, if you can see it. This hard stem, you're not gonna you're not gonna grate this or put it in your ricer. You're just gonna take that out. Take that out. And all you're gonna do is use your flowers, your little flower heads. You do it by hand, they break off easily. You're gonna be left with a little hard stem at the end. You don't want that when you're gonna take it off and just go or eat it. It's really good for you. But you just when you go to put it through a ricer, the, the texture is not really good to make it. Take it apart, take all your flowers off, put the stems on the side. This is this is fun and it's delicious. I love cauliflower. I make baked cauliflower instead of baked mashed potatoes. I, it's, it's, it's much, much healthier. And again, the ingredients you're going to put inside is three, three bases. You got one cauliflower, you can use one egg and some whole wheat flour, and that's it. Now, don't get fooled when you go out to the grocery store, especially your Italian supermarkets, and they, say, they sell the one that says whole wheat gnocchi. Be careful that those whole wheat uh, gnocchis are made with potato, not cauliflower. So if you're diabetic, you know, you got to be careful with your sugar spikes. This is why I use cauliflower. Okay, once my cauliflower is all shredded, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna use my ricer because I like the way, I like the way it makes the little mashing part of it and it makes it easy to work with. I'm gonna put some in there, or all of it, because it's not that much. This is, when you, if you're doing by ingredients, this weighs about two pounds. I'm gonna show you exactly how to measure it. You can use a little scale. You see the bottom? After I break everything, and all of this, it comes out like that. Almost like when you're making a potato croquette. These hold a little bit more moisture than potatoes, so you know you have to kind of you know use your you know just use your best judgment when using the flour. I'll show you the basic ingredients, but you're gonna have to use your judgment when you actually because you can feel it with your hands. You hear that that noise? It sounds like oh, it sounds like your stomach growling. But the end result is gonna be delicious. It's worth it. Okay, so we have our cauliflower. We took the hard stems off because we're not going to put that through the potato, uh, the potato ricer. We're gonna, so this is, this is one head of cauliflower when it's mashed up. Now remember, this has more moisture and water inside than a potato. So that's why I prefer to steam it because it'll be more water inside. I'm going to take my cauliflower, put it, use my big mixing bowl, okay? Throw everything in there. Normally I would do it on a counter, but it's nice if you have a marble counter. I don't have marble counters, can't afford them, so I, I, I'll do everything in a bowl. In a bowl, you're gonna see, I'm gonna actually feel what well, I'm gonna show you. You see all that moisture that comes out? There's a lot of moisture in there, so you're gonna have to kind of judge how you're gonna make, uh, how much flour you're gonna use. What I'm gonna do is, I do use one egg as a binder, okay, but it's, 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 this is about, like I said, about two pounds of cauliflower. So all together, I'm gonna take, I have my one egg, I'm gonna throw it right in. Even if it doesn't need because it's so much moisture, but I prefer to put one. I'm gonna put that in, just three simple ingredients. The whole wheat flour, okay, 100% whole wheat. I'm gonna start with one cup of whole wheat, and I'm gonna take it from there. I'm just gonna keep mixing it until, put it right in on top, mix it and to see what kind of consistency I get. Because remember, this is gonna be wet because it's a cauliflower. So you might need maybe a little bit more than like two cups Okay, I'm going to kind of knead it and just keep them putting the flour. And believe me, the texture is going to be delicious once, once it's well done. This is why I don't do this particular one on the counter because it's very, it's very, it's a, it's a moist mixture and it takes me a little bit to get it to where I need it, but it's cauliflower. It's whole wheat flour. I, li I love gnocchis and if you love gnocchi, you can only enjoy this because you can eat it. Uh, you know, it won't do, it won't spike your sugar levels like the others will. 
and it's absolutely delicious. Okay, it's, you can see it's still wet and pasty. I, need put, I still have to put a little bit more flour. Normally it takes about two, sometimes two and a half, depending on the moisture inside the cauliflower, that's how I judge. So you're gonna have to be your best judge at this. Don't worry about getting mess, getting messy is the best part about this. Okay, I put another half a cup in, I still have the other half a cup in there. Okay, and as you, as you start mixing or kneading it, you're gonna feel that it's starting a little bit more drier. And so you're almost like, like, a, like a, a ball of dough. Okay, you see how it's starting to almost look like a dough, a, a ball, a bowl, a ball of dough. If I don't get that ball in there, then something's not right with Cooker or Johnny. But anyway, okay. Now, this is okay like this. I'm going to put some flour on the counter, and I'm going to finish it over here. I'll put my bowl on the side. Okay, I'm just going to finish kind of kneading a little bit. You know, get all that flour incorporated in there. Remember, it's not a regular potato gnocchi, so it's like, oh, you can go, oh, potato gnocchi is delicious. These are just as delicious, only a lot healthier. Uh, I, you know, just put so, whatever, whatever kind of sauce you want to put on it. I already have some other sauce that I had in the freezer. I defrosted it from my, one of my last dinners, and it's quick, and it's really cheap. That's the best part. You go buy this in the store, it's like 5 $6 for a little can of, a container of 8 ounces of this. Or this is cheap to make. I had a cauliflower, maybe about $2, $3, some flour, and you're good to go. A little bit more. All right, on top. Remember, it takes about two, two and a half cups of whole wheat flour before you get some kind of a texture. You're going to see it. it even, even when you cut it, it'll be fun, a little bit different, but it's going to be worth it. So when we come back, I'm going to finish kneading this. I'm going to roll it up, and then I'm going to show you how to cut it and how to stop preparing to cook it. So come back and join me. Okay, we have kneaded the, uh, the cauliflower into a nice dough ball, this shape. Okay, I let it rest for a good half hour inside the refrigerator. Okay, now I'm not going to start making my gnocchis. I do mine a little bit different. All I do is take my ball of dough, I cut a piece off of it, like this. And see how it looks like on the inside? And it smells delicious. I'm going to roll it out a little bit. Okay, because if you guys feel the texture is different, it's a little bit softer than a potato. So... I'm gonna roll it out. See how thick it is? You could just kind of play with it until you smooth it out a little bit. I don't like small, tiny gnocchis. I like them a little bit on a big size, so when I bite into it, I'm biting into something. Okay, you see how I'm, I'm doing it? And let's just kind of stretch it out to get just a little bit bigger. You see it kind of, kind of just stretches out like that. So about this size is good. I like this kind of thickness because they will expand even a little bit more in the water. I'm gonna take my little dough cutter and just cut them. Okay, you see about the thickness? They're like little squares. Okay, most people, they take a fork or they take a thumb, they put an imprint. I just leave them alone because what happens is when you throw them in the water, the boiling salted water, they're gonna puff up and they'd be adorable, like little gnocchi balls, okay? I have my little plate here all set up. I'm going to put them on a plate just for now, for a quick second or so. Actually, behind me, I have a tray. I'm going to put them on that tray. I can just put them right on there. But since I already started doing this, I'll put them back on a plate for now. And I'll show you exactly how I'm going to spread them out on my tray. Now, behind me, I already, I already had a, a cooking sheet tray. I put some whole wheat flour on it. And all I'm going to do is take my little gnocchis and just kind of put them on there. See, just like that, spread them out. So they dry off a little bit. My mother, was years ago, when, when she used to make gnocchi, she would, on her bed, she'd put a, a, a huge white sheet. And on the sheet, she'd put some flour, lock the door, and then behind that door, what she would do is spread them all over the sheet because we had little dogs. And it, she didn't want them jumping on the gnocchis and just let them air dry, okay? Just like that. I'm gonna put them back and keep doing the process. I'm going to cut all of them, and then when we come, come back, I'll show you exactly how much I have from this little ball of cauliflower dough. And we're going to start cooking them and eating them, enjoying them. And you can have as much, well, not as much as well, but you can definitely have a good, healthy dish of it. It won't affect you. Especially if you're a diabetic, it doesn't have that effect of spiking your sugar like a regular potato or white flour. So come back. I'm going to finish cutting these. I'm going to prepare them, and we're going to start cooking them.
Okay, now that I have all my gnocchis all cut up into nice little big pieces, I have my pot of water boiling. You can see it. It's like halfway full. I put a little bit of salt inside. It's ready to go. And I'm going to cook my gnocchis. I don't put the gnocchis all in at once. I do them a little bit at a time because I don't want them to stick together. You know, these they, they do tend to stick together if you're not careful. You know, just going to place some in. You know, just be careful to separate them. This is like regular gnocchi. They, when they, when they come up, they're done. Just be careful because the water does splatter. You're going to burn yourself. Don't do it. Just go as close to the water as possible. Or use a slotted spoon to place them on top and then put them in the water. Right now, I'm going to make just one little dish so we can taste them. And we'll take it from there. As soon as they come up from, you know, from the bottom of the pot, they're done. It's just like any other, like when you make raviolis or regular gnocchi. As soon as they come up, they're done. So in a couple of minutes, we're going to be ready to eat these things. If you notice, they're all starting to pop up. And basically, they're done. They're just in the, there's a few more at the bottom. Once they come up, you can scoop them out. Okay, put them in your dish and put another batch in. And then you can put all the sauce in and mix them all up together. You can actually make these baked Parmesan style. You put the same thing, put them in a pan with some sauce or some Parmesan cheese, throw it in the oven, and it's a delicious dish. Keep watching. Now we're going to take them out of the water. I got my slotted spoon. I'm going to just basically just pick them up. See how nice they are? See the color? Just a little bit different. I got a brownish color. That's because it's the whole wheat. Throw my little plate. Oh my god, they smell so good. Okay, I'm done with this little batch. I'm gonna put another batch. And just keep doing it so they're all done. I just don't do it all at once because I want them to cook nicely. You saw how nicely they popped up? You know, just don't let, don't be squirted. Don't be afraid of water jumping up, but don't hurt yourself in the same process. And that's good. We have a second batch of the gnocchi cooking. We're actually going to finish all these up. I'm going to put some sauce on them that I already had from my last dinner. I had it in the freezer. I'm going to plate it. We're going to taste them, see how delicious they're going to taste. Hopefully you'll make them and then you send me your pictures how they came out. So come back in a minute and join me while I finish cooking this and, and plate them. And here we are. Here's a finished gnocchi product. Of, again, it's cauliflower and whole wheat only. There is no white flour. There is no potatoes. If you're a diabetic, uh, like I kept saying earlier, this is a, a better choice of a dish for you. The marinara sauce, you can make any kind of sauce you want, but I did have some left over in the freezer. I defrosted it, I put it on top. I put a little bit of Reggiano Parmigiano cheese. I'm going to taste it. I know I'm going to love it because I normally do. Mm, they're delicious. There is nothing that you can really tell the difference between this and a regular gnocchi. It's a lot healthier, and you can just keep eating them. I'm going to keep doing that. But before I do that, I want to thank you guys again for coming in. We're cooking with Johnny, visiting me. Uh, don't forget to visit my Facebook page on Cooking with Johnny, Instagram, Cooking with Johnny, and my, my, uh, my website at cookingwithjohnny.net. Uh, keep sending those, those pictures, uh, your questions about the future shows we're going to be doing. Um, I really appreciate all the support. Thank you all. I want to thank Michael, my husband, that does the filming, the editing, and supports me through all this and puts up with all this craziness that I do. Thank you all. I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Johnny. So come back and join me again while I finish eating the delicious gnocchi. If you want, I'll come over and make it for you. We'll eat it together. Ciao, belly.